good morning students today i will discuss one of the important bone of the axial skeleton and that bone belongs to the vertebral column you know this is vertebral column i already uploaded one video on the lumbar vertebra then sacrum and also how to differentiate different vertebra today i will discuss the vertebra of the thoracic region or rather the thoracic vertebra and you all know the thoracic vertebra are 12 in number total number of thoracic vertebra are 12 of which some vertebra having common features common anatomical features and they are called typical thoracic vertebra and some thoracic vertebra they are different individually that means they are having different anatomical features and these are called atypical thoracic vertebra so how many typical and how many atypical thoracic vertebra are there typical vertebra it starts from t2 or second thoracic to eighth thoracic vertebra they are all typical vertebra so t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 t7 and t8 total seven vertebra are typical one that means all these vertebra having same anatomical features but the atypical vertebra rest of the vertebra are atypical like thoracic 1 then thoracic 9 to thoracic 12 these five vertebra are atypical that means all these vertebra t1 t9 t10 all these vertebra having different anatomical features now i will show you what are the features of the typical one then atypical one let us first discuss the features of typical thoracic vertebra so let us start to discuss the features of typical thoracic vertebra but before that i must say first we have to identify the thoracic vertebra by only one point i can identify thoracic vertebra excluding the cervical and the lumbar vertebra in the thoracic vertebra you will see on the body there are costal facets that means this facet will articulate with the ribs and also facet on the transverse facets this also will articulate with the ribs but this costal facet not present in the cervical vertebra and also in the lumbar vertebra you see in the this cervical vertebra here here no costal facet but in place of costal facet here there is another important feature that is foramen transversarium so this is cervical vertebra but in lumbar vertebra here also there is no costal facet on the body and transverse process and no foramen transversarium so it is not cervical not thoracic so it is lumbar vertebra so i will discuss the thoracic vertebra so what are the parts of a thoracic vertebra like all other vertebra almost the parts of all vertebra like cervical thoracic and lumbar having the same anatomical parts this is the body this one facing anteriorly and this is vertebral arch you know because i discussed in another video the parts of a vertebra you visit that video you will identify the different parts of the vertebra the shape of the body is heart shaped the both transverse and anterior diameter are almost equal and here is the vertebral foramen which is almost circular but in cervical vertebra if you see in the cervical vertebra the foramen is triangular because this foramen it contains the cervical segment of spinal cord which is enlarged because it will form the brachial plexus so number of nerves are more so this region is enlarged but the thoracic segment of the spinal cord there is no such nerve plexus is formed by the thoracic nerves so it is not enlarged for this reason it is more or less circular and this is small pedicle then this is lamina this one lamina of both sides and here is the transverse process this is superior articular process and this is inferior articular process this one so this is the anatomical position of the thoracic vertebra 